In this video, I'm going to be talking about the top five overseas bases to be stationed at in the Air Force. So if you're interested, be sure to watch the whole video. Also, if you think that I'm totally wrong with my picks, comment down below what would be your top five and why. That way we create a bit of a forum and it helps other people out that come to this video looking for what are the top five overseas bases. So your opinions are definitely appreciated in the comment section. Also, my wife and I each did videos on our top five jobs in the Air Force, plus our top five stateside bases. So if you're interested in those, those will be linked in the description down below. Coming in at my number five pick, I'm gonna have to say Osan Air Force Base in South Korea. Now, now, there are actually two bases in South Korea. Osan is the larger of the two. It's also closer to Seoul, which is the capital of South Korea. Now, one of the biggest unfortunate things about going to South Korea in the Air Force is it is typically an unaccompanied tour, which means if you're married, where you're married with kids. Typically, the Air Force is not gonna let you bring them with you. So you're gonna have to do a year unaccompanied, which means without your family. So it's kind of like a deployment, but with a lot more freedoms, because it's like a typical normal duty station. You just can't have your family there. Now, I know there's ways around it, and if you have any information on that, feel free to comment down below. But if you are a single person in the military, meaning you don't have a relationship going, or at least you're not married and you're just dating somebody, going to South Korea might be an awesome opportunity. And I'm sure if you're currently in the military, you know somebody that's been stationed there as well and they had some wild stories. And so you kind of just feel like you're missing out. Like you want to know what that whole experience is like being stationed in South Korea. And that's why it made it onto my list. Also, I heard like the internet there is like stupid fast. So like that would be super awesome because making YouTube videos and doing stuff online, having really fast internet, is really helpful. Now you're probably interested in joining the Air Force or the military in general, or you're currently in. I think that you should know about today's sponsor, which is Sandbox. Friends and family can send you a letter from literally anywhere. All they have to do is use the Sandbox app or use the website online, type up their letter and hit send. Your loved one will get tracking. It will include the message that they wrote, a photo if they choose to include one, a piece of paper for you to write a message back. And it also includes a pre-addressed envelope. All you have to do is add a stamp to that letter and mail it back to your loved one and they get tracking for your letter back to them. That was literally my favorite thing about Sandbox was being able to know when a letter from McKenna was going to arrive in my mailbox. So if you haven't told your friends or family about Sandbox before you leave for basic training, you need to get on that. Be sure to use the link in the description below. All right, now let's get back to the video. Now the fourth best place to be stationed in the Air Force while you're overseas, at least in my opinion, is Milden Hall Air Force Base in the United Kingdom. Now there is another base in the United Kingdom called Lake and Heath Air Force Base, which is literally right across the street. Milden Hall is a lot smaller base, so I think just morale in general, people are gonna be closer on that base than Lake and Heath because when operations and everything get so big and there's a lot of people and a lot of moving parts, I feel like morale can be a little bit lower. So I think Milden Hall overall is the better choice if you're gonna be stationed in the United Kingdom. Now, unfortunately, I've heard from a lot of people that were stationed in the United Kingdom that the weather there is absolutely awful. Always overcast, it's always rainy, it never really gets super hot, but I would enjoy the ability to be able to fly almost anywhere in Europe for like under 50 bucks and just travel. The ability to travel to different cultures and different experiences is so easily accessible and so close that you can't go wrong being stationed anywhere in Europe. And that's why the United Kingdom, Mildenhall Air Force Base is my number four choice. And number three is going to be Spangolem Air Force Base in Germany. Now, if you want to get stationed overseas, Germany is possibly one of the most popular places that people in the military want to get stationed. Now, most people are gonna say Ramstein because that is the base that most people know. And Ramstein is a huge base and it's a huge hub for a lot of our military. But from what I've heard from a lot of people, Ramstein is always busy. I think the working tempo is a lot slower at Spangolem over Ramstein, which helps increase morale. So not only do you get to be in Germany already, but you also aren't getting worked like crazy. I've also heard that Spangolem is more out in the country compared to Ramstein, but with Europe being so small, you don't really have to worry about being out in the middle of nowhere because you can just drive a few hours and you can be in a completely different country. Now, number two, Yokota Air Force Base in Japan. Now I was actually stationed at Kadena Air Force Base in Okinawa, Japan as my first duty station for three years. If I had to pick a base in Japan to get stationed at, I would actually pick Yokota over Kadena. Yokota is only about an hour away from Tokyo which is the largest city in the world. Being within an hour of Tokyo means that you can access it any weekend that you want, as long as you're not working. And being the largest city in the world, there is so much to do. And you don't have to worry about traffic because everybody uses the metro. And the metro system in Japan, especially Tokyo, 
is amazing. When you go to Japan, you will be mind blown about how the system works. That alone is like a tourist attraction. Using the Metro in Tokyo is such a fun, cool experience and everybody there is so nice. Also, you're in mainland Japan, so if you wanna travel and go see Mount Fuji or a bunch of other things, there's tons of castle ruins. You're gonna have a lot of opportunities to go sightsee. And there is a lot of culture and history in Japan. Now, my number one overseas Air Force base, if I could choose, would be Aviano, Italy, which was actually my number one pick when I went through basic training and put it on my dream sheet. Now, the biggest reason why I'm putting this on there is because it's in Europe and you can travel so easily to all the other countries. But Aviano Air Force Base in Italy is gonna be the warmest location that you could be stationed at in Europe. And I'm a huge fan of warm weather, not a fan of the cold, do not like winter. So if there's an opportunity to be in Europe and be at a warmer location, I'm gonna take it. Unfortunately, it's up to the Air Force where you get stationed, so you don't really get that much of a say, but it shouldn't stop you from at least trying to put it on your dream sheet if it's somewhere that you wanna go. The history, the culture, the art, it almost seems like you'd be living on a vacation. I feel like just driving around in general would be gorgeous seeing all of the architecture. Not to mention that Rome is in Italy. And I think Rome would be such an awesome place to go visit out of the peak seasons. Meaning if you're close enough to Rome and you can drive there on a weekend, and go back multiple times, you don't have to try to cram everything into your trip all at once. And that's why it's my number one, because there is so much history in that area, and I think living there allows you to be able to go see it without being overwhelmed and trying to consume all of it within a five or 10 day period. Now that was my list of my top five overseas Air Force bases. If you guys disagree, please comment down below tell me why I'm wrong. I think by you commenting down below and contradicting what I'm saying, it gives people a more clear picture of what to expect and maybe more info than just what I'm sharing because mine's gonna be very one-sided. It's gonna be just my opinion. The more opinions we can get about different bases, the more people are gonna be informed down in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also check out our other videos of top five stateside bases. McKenna and I each did our own and also top five Air Force jobs. But that's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys later.